again, national symbols are so damn important, all right? And there is only one national flag. But how do you feel about how in New South Wales they either want to go out of their way and spend $25 million to put a new flagpole up or don't have the balls to pull down a state ensign that, let's be honest, no one's going to die in a ditch for? I can't believe that I'm gobsmacked. I mean, it, you think the you think being in politics, you wouldn't be uh, surprised by cost blowouts and uh, excessive estimates of how much things cost. But $25 million to put up a flagpole, I think Dom's original... Uh, reaction when this was pointed out was the right one, that he could surely just go down to Bunnings and do something <laughs> a lot cheaper. Uh, this has got to be pulled up. For no, no doubt in my mind at all, Paul, there's a bunch of uh, uh, bureaucratic studies, uh, consultation uh, to be done there that will all just mean jobs for bureaucrats, nothing for the people of New South Wales. And keep in mind this is all happening. It's all happening at a time where we can't guarantee the electricity supply for the people of New South Wales. Uh, why are we focused on this sort of stuff when the real issues are not being tackled here? You've got a part-time energy minister in Matt Keane. He's got a big job as, uh, as treasurer, uh, but he's also trying to deal with a uh, once-in-a-generation energy crisis, uh, uh, a crisis that is largely caused by some of his policies, may I add. It's time to get some decent people in there that are focused on the real issues uh, because before you know it, uh, nightmares are coming towards this country. We, we used to be a lucky country, uh, Paul. We, we used our resources. Uh, we, we, we developed our country. But over the last 10 or 20 years, we've been living off, living off the legacy of previous generations and have not been taking the hard and tough decisions you need to guarantee prosperity over time. Well, I hope One Nation ends up as an, as, in as powerful position on the crossbench of the New South Wales Parliament as the Greens are now in the Federal Parliament because they are the only people that are actually going to be able to try to pull back some reform here because both sides have completely given up the fight, particularly in New South Wales.